Hey! Welcome to Trains Are Fun! Where I like trains, because trains are fun. Today, I'm going to be finishing this train. It took me a couple of videos more than I thought. I was hoping to do this in one video, but... Oh well. This is life. Hello, Ahmed. Hello, Lego Freak. Hello, MC Spaz. Hello, Team Roblox friends. Hello, Ryan Tough. Whose child likes Ryan Toys Review more than or who's uh, no, it's his nephew. <laughs> his nephew <laughs> likes Ryan's Toys Review more than him. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Hello, Rashawn. Hello, Adam McFarlane. Hello, Ryan the Tank Engine. Hello, Bennett Stevens. Hello, Giovanni Vega and Jaden. Jaden Watkins flying good tutu. <laughs> What's up, Rashawn? I'm just got home from work, worked a little later than I wanted to, and I'm building a Lego set now. Hopefully, we'll finish it today. All right, so I'm on. Hopefully, it's the last book. Which one is that? Five. Book five. Hello, Bennett. Did I say hello to you? Hello, Noah. Hello, Ethan. <laughs> Ethan says, what is your most prized possession that is a Lego set? Ooh. I have a lot of rare items. That's a tough one. It's, it's probably my 810, my town plan set, 810 from the UK. Hello, Mayo! All right. Hey, David. David's Wooden Railway. Look, I'm on step one. There. <laughs> oh, she got a suitcase. This is a bigger suitcase than normal. That's a big one. All right. Oh, she gets... Uh, she's got a Lego set in it. This is like me when I went to Colorado. We literally bought a suitcase to put Lego sets in. Well, there's some other things that we bought. But when I went to Colorado, yeah, we came back with one extra suitcase than what we went with. <laughs> oh, I got to answer an email, a uh, text message. Hang it. Hold on a minute. It's important that I respond. What's your favorite Lego train set? I just made that question up. Nobody asked it, I don't think. All right, who else is here? Yes, Lego Freak. Lego Freak says, are you going to build the cargo train next? Yes, that will be my next project. Now, I might do it like this, do it as a series of live streams. Um, it might take a little longer as it's bigger. But I do need to get that thing built. Oh, all right, sorry about that. I like trains too. The guy beside you. Whoa. Where is he? Is he beside me? All right. Putting on stickers. Least favorite part. Oh, nice, Mayo. Vacation is always nice. All right. That goes there. That goes there. I should put this where I can see it easier. It says, out of Trapmaster, Trapmaster 2 Adventures, it said, what is your favorite one through the years? Okay, so that's not going to be counting the HO scale model trains. Probably PlayRail. PlayRail, I'd say PlayRail is my favorite. Although, if you're going to tie me up and tell me I can only choose one thing ever, <laughs> it would probably be Wooden Railway. 
but I think overall play rail is my favorite. But I think wooden railway is kind of nostalgic. Like, so what is your favorite? Play rail, Trackmaster, Trackmaster 2, <laughs> Trackmaster 1, the new stuff. Let's see how this goes. Goes like that. I'm let's see here. Hey, Ryan says, I can never put the stickers on right. I know, that's why we hate stickers. We love them for what you can do with them, but we hate them for having to put them on and putting them on crooked, which I do quite a bit. Nice to be on spring break. It's not it. My problem is, where is it springtime at? <laughs> is it spring already? <laughs> I didn't know it was spring. It's still winter here. What is better, Thomas and Friends or Lego, says David Wooden Railway. I um, guess I'll have to go with Lego. I'm sorry, Thomas fans out there. <laughs> Lego is hand, hands down the best toy. <laughs> so... And if you wanted to, you can build Thomas and Friends out of Lego. So that's always good. But yeah, definitely Lego. That's an easy that's an easy question. Like you're like, hey, if there could only be one toy in the world, what would it be? Lego. Because you can make anything else pretty much out of it. Uh oh, gonna be missing school. Won't you be glad when you don't have to worry about that anymore? They might be Bricks had an advantage to a lot of the times that we went because he was homeschooled. <laughs> that was nice. All right. I'm putting these pieces on crooked. Hold on a minute. Why is this not going on? This is harder to do than it looks. <laughs> All right, now I got to put these white pieces on. Hopefully, this won't take too long. I need to put this over here where I can see it better. Hope I don't disconnect my microphone in the process. All right. David's on a three-day weekend. Yeah. All right. So, who wants to see this thing running when I get done? Anybody? Does anybody care? <sighs> Let's see here. Going to try to hurry and build it. I would try to say stuff, like make up stuff to say in the chat, but I'm just trying to build. All right, here's a good one from Bennett Stevens. He says, are you ready for Bachman Thomas and Friends 2019? I already have a book for it. I'm still waiting on Bachman Thomas and Friends for 2018. <laughs> I had a book for that. <laughs> and... Most of the stuff that was in the catalog didn't come out. <laughs> it's a, it's kind of like a running joke. I don't know why they make a 2018 catalog that has all these items and then they never come out. Uh, I could, if I could get the catalog, where did I put it? I have the catalog somewhere. I don't have it handy, but there's a lot of items like um, Rusty Gordon's coaches. And some other things that did not come out that were in the catalog for last year. Oh, David's going to Utah. Awesome. I was in the state next door to that, Colorado. But there's some beautiful things to see in Utah, I understand. I've never actually been to Utah. Hope to go one day. 
Hello, Flying Scotsman 4472. That's the Flying Scotsman number, 4472. I need to upgrade my Lego Emerald Knight to a Flying Scotsman with two tenders. I still haven't got around to making the extra tender for that. Okay. Yeah, me too, Ryan. He said he can't wait to see this till I'm done so he can, he can see it run. I wish I had two of them so we can make a complete train. Okay, now we got all the windows. It'll go by fast doing the windows. I can actually build and look at the comments when I'm doing windows, I think. Oh, nice. Flying Scotsman's going to get... Um, his brother, or is it his cousin? <laughs> Gordon. I can never remember. David Wooden Railway. Excellent question. When will you do your next Bachman video? I am not 100% sure. That is definitely something I need to do. I haven't done a video in a while. I had some suggestions yesterday about doing some more races and things like that. Um, trying to get this Lego stuff done and my layout. I tell you, my layout so small. It's like I get, I like, I wanted to expand it and make it more interesting. I just feel like it's too small. I cannot see you, Mayo. <laughs> Are you doing Brigzar quotes? Yeah, I, I'll do, I need to, and that's what, I do, I'll do the races, I just need to get something set up to do it where it's interesting. I always want to do like a double, uh, you know what I've never done? I've never done a triple race. Like you have three tracks that are the same length and race three locomotives. I think that would be interesting, do three locomotives at a time. I'd get my son to help me one day, he could help me set up a track. Where we could do that. Oh, okay. All right, I'm on step 18. They made this a really simple build. And I like this better than the white train, the ICE-based train that was the previous one to this, in that they didn't give you two engines in it. They just they gave you two passenger cars. I'm hoping these Gordon's coaches, the, are you talking about the Bachman ones? I'm hoping they come out. I mean, it's been they've been promising that for a while. I have the old version of those. I want, I want to see how similar they are. And basically, for the price that it would cost to get one of the old ones, you can get both of the new ones when they come back out. If they ever release them. Gordon, he's talking about Bachman Gordon, I think. If you're not, tell me. Mayo says, do you have any HO scale mine carts? I don't. Those would probably be like a narrow gauge, I think. I don't. Oh, nice. I always look for stuff like that, David. David said he found a bunch of Butman at an antique shop. Yes, that's a good find. I'm sure that kind of stuff goes quick. We are good, Jonas. My name is Jonas. <laughs> no, my name's not Jonas. <laughs> All right. Um, hold on a minute. Oh, that's good. All, all of them work but one. That's good. David, his Bachman trains that he found at the NT store. This on. It's coming along nicely here. We'll have this thing up and running in no time. This, this, I may have this done in under an hour. Oh, it's morning where you live. Wow. <laughs> All right, bag seven, which I accidentally opened earlier. <laughs> Need four of these. Hey, Bobby the Hedgehog. Glad to see you back again. 
He's been on all of these, I think. Bobby the Hedgehog. Now, Brickatech. <laughs> Brickatech says that set looks cool. Any chance it'll go on sale? I'm sure it will. One thing about trains, as awesome as they are, I cannot think of one that never got discounted at some point. All of them. Even the really good ones like the Marish Train, the um, the Horizon Express, all of them. At some point, there's a sale, whether it be on Amazon or otherwise. So if you're a, a frugal shopper like Brickatech, you will wait and try to snatch one of these when it's at least 20% off. I'm sure it'll eventually... There will be a sale. And the other alternative is what I usually do is buy them when there's either double VIP points at Lego or uh, you get a free, a good freebie uh, with the purchase. And that kind of is almost like getting it on sale. Uh, this one I actually did not buy. No. But I did not get it technically for free, but I did not pay for it. If that actually, technically, I did get it for free because <laughs> the thing I traded for it, I got for free. <laughs> so the only thing I had to pay, I did a trade with Brick Trains. So only thing I had to pay for was the shipping of what I shipped him. Uh, let's see here. It says. Brickatech says, I almost got the blue cargo train from a year or two ago when it got cheap, but everyone talked me out of it. <laughs> Why? And when they start getting really cheap, that's when you got to get them. So I, I made the mistake with the um, Flying Scotsman train, the Emerald Knight. I should have held on to more of those uh, because once it got, it got cheap, I bought them on sale. But eventually, once it got discontinued... It was one of the hardest. It's one of the hardest ones to get at a price close to what it used to be. Well, you, you can never get it at a price close to what it used to be. But yeah, that Emerald Knight can't beat free. That's right. Bennett Stevens says the ICE train train is faster than Hornby Hen Henry. I wonder why. It's a different motor. I think my ICE did you is it was that my video? I know I, I, I ran that thing. That thing is super fast. That's what, the the Bachman one. I think it is. I have to look over there. Amtrak. No, it's a uh, Model Power made that ICE train. That thing is super fast. On mine, I don't know. If you're talking about yours. Yes. Uh, when those coaches come out for Gordon Bennett, I am going to get those. I think the Bachman, well, I don't know what the Bachman price, price is. I think they're like $40 or something like that each. <laughs> Hello, X, what, work loser XX, <laughs> you like trains? Hello, Ralph, Ralph Cameron. <laughs> So Bennett Stevens says something about the 2019 book. I don't know. I haven't got the – in every stream, every live stream I do, somebody says, you know, you need to get the uh, the Bachman Trains 2019 book, and I haven't ordered it yet. I'm still – like I said earlier, I'm still waiting on the 2018 items to come out. <laughs> it's like a running joke. Where's Rusty? Where are Gordon's coaches? I've got all of those Ertl engines, May. I appreciate the offer, though. I'm pretty sure I got all those. All right. Oh, we're... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I messed up. <laughs> I made it a little short. Oh, man. That's easily easily fixed. Your name is German. 
So it's wart luster. Very, very, I can't, I can't. My, if my daughter was here, you, you could carry on a conversation in German with her. Is your name, or do you speak German, is the question. Willkommen, or something. I can't say welcome. So, Willkommen. All right, now I got it right. All right, it's ready to go. All right, let's do the bottom of the bottom of it, and we will be done and run a train, and then I can talk more regularly to you guys. Regger Bricks, when you coming over, you got to get your plant animals. <laughs> I got that plant animal for you. <laughs> it can be a sunroof. All right. All right, let me finish this. I'm so close. I'm so close. I want to get it done. I'm going I'm doing a little better than the previous live streams. <laughs> My McMuffin. Cool. I'm trying to talk my daughter into doing a couple of videos on my channel, maybe one day, where we do translation. <laughs> I want it to be more of a funny video. <laughs> Where she reads it in German and then I, t I translate it, and of course I would translate it wrong. You know, did I tell y'all my my story when we were in Germany in Munich? Um, we got to this hotel late, and I didn't realize in in Europe, I guess most of the hotels or a lot of them anyway, there's no staff at night, and we had got there late, so the staff was already gone. And I'm like, how are we going to check in? The door's locked. And so you have to go up to this kiosk to get your room key. And I was panicking. I'm like, I don't know how to read this thing. So I got my daughter out of the car and it was late at night and she'd already changed into her pajamas and stuff. And I was like, I can't read this. I can't read this kiosk, please. So she gets up there and, and looks at it and she goes, dad, it's in English. Right below the German. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so that's the type of things. Oh, I put it on too soon again. I can't build and talk. I do this every time. Every single time. Uh, hold on. Make sure I don't miss a step this time. Put all this back. Hey, brick clone! <laughs> so, brick clone and me and Rager Bricks all have something in common. Your dad can speak German. So can Rager Bricks' dad. <laughs> So my daughter speaks German, Rager Brick's dad speaks German, and Brick Clone's dad speaks German. <laughs> yeah, I got too many Thomas trains, my McMuffin. Oh, cool. Thomas and Birdie Studios. You didn't get a notification. That's not cool. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say cool. <laughs> That's all right. You found it, and that's what counts. I gotta make two of these. There's two of them. McMuffin is Scottish. <laughs> Lucas Nolan says, All the German I know is from the culturally insensitive show <laughs> Hogan's Hero. <laughs> Hogan's Hero. I know nothing. I see nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness, Hogan's Heroes. What a show. Any show and what why I say it's kind of insensitive is just making light of the terrible atrocities that happened in that time. I mean, they're not making light of the Holocaust and stuff, but there were some bad things going on over there. Bad. 
And it's just like, not the subject matter for a comedy. Almost done. Almost done. Let me pick. It's hard to pick up these pieces. <laughs> How do you do this? There you go. Ow, stab myself with it. That's actually hard to do. I messed up when I made this table. I don't I have too much of a lip on it and it's hard to slide stuff off. All right, I'm almost oh no. Oh there it is. So I used all the stickers. Got an extra croissant and an extra hot dog. I think that's normal. I hope that's normal. That will go there. We have did it. We did it. We did it. I'm calling this the Inner City Express. I don't know what technically what it is, but I'm going to run it. All right. Do we have an engineer? We got an engineer in there. I didn't put the barista in there or the passenger. I got them on the platform over here. I'm just going to leave them over there. Y'all can't see them. They're under the camera. Okay. And we've got the extra hot dog, extra croissant. I feel like something's missing in there. Huh. That is weird. Maybe it's the croissant. I think that's what I did wrong. I think it's a croissant was supposed to go right here. So it doesn't have an extra croissant. I just forgot to attach it. Hold on a minute. Oh, I can't get my hands in here. Rager Bricks, come over here and help me. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Patience. How are you supposed to do this? Supposed to... I had to take it apart to put the croissant back in there. Ah, got it. Coffee cup. Hold on. Okay. All right, we're going to run this thing. And I have got to go upstairs and do something real quick. So, hold on. So you get this where you can see it. Whoo! All right. H2 Brick. That's another German. <laughs> another one that speaks German. All right, I am. Um, um, I'll be right back. Hold on a minute. All right, so I got to go upstairs and take a picture of something. Watch the train run. Everybody be good. I'll be right back.
can be real. All right, I'm back. Oh, dang, nabbit. Never tell people you're leaving, I guess. All right. Hello, Crew Jones. I'm multitasking here. Okay. Is something fall? <laughs> Whoops. What's your favorite food? Pizza. <laughs> All right. Now's the time to ask questions, and I can look at them as the train goes by. And I can even answer your questions. Dejan Walton says, do you know Spanish? Not enough to buy a taco. No, I don't. Hello, H2 Brick. I actually, I, get, I don't know if it's on this channel or my other channel. I did a video when I met up with him in Munich. We went to the Lego store there. <coughs> and we went to eat at a very nice restaurant. <coughs> Jonas Bricks, how long did it take to build the set? All right, doing it on live streams, it took two and a half hours. <laughs> Probably should have taken less than an hour to build it, uh, but I was talking and stuff. So this, this is the third live stream, and we got it finished. Everything's done. Now I can do my review over on Brickzar. Oh, there, I forgot this minifigure. And I got to get all these extra pieces up. Ugh. I'll give this kid the hot dog. I'll get these up later. Right, so we are done. We get back over to the questions. I'm back. McMuffin says Irish accent. This is a good stream. Hello, Flying Scotsman. Lego Freak says he knows some Spanish. I would love to come back to Germany, Noah. I would love it. What's your favorite pizza? Cheese with jalapenos on it. <laughs> I'm a simple man. <laughs> Do you ever play Lego Movie? No, but... We just got this. The PS4 version of Lego Movie 2. I haven't opened it yet. My son's working on getting his... Um, My son's working on getting this the gaming set up. His channel made me turn more into a gaming channel here. Brickitect, when you build and review a Lego train, how do you determine which channel to put it on? Lots of overlap there. Hmm. Well, if it's a Lego set and I'm reviewing it, it's probably going to go on Brickzar, my Lego channel. If I'm... Building it, it could go on any of the three channels. Um, I've when I know that I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos, I tend to put live streams on the channels that I don't use as much uh, because what YouTube does is they'll hide your video because they don't want you spamming your uh, subscribers with a lot of videos. So that's why sometimes I'll do live streams on other channels. Who's excited for the new Bachman Red Rosie? <laughs> David's Wooden Railway. Do you have other channels? <laughs> um, yes. Do you want to know what they are? <laughs> oh, I would love to actually go to Belgium. No, uh, New Storyteller, do you want to collect uh, Gumby figures? No, but I did take a picture of a Gumby graffiti. 
gra uh, graffiti on a boxcar once. <laughs> Mayo, Mayo Hosko, are you and Brick Czar the same person? No. I hate that guy. He's a jerk, and he's mean, and he's narcissistic, and he's... I, I don't like Brick Czar. Sub subscribe to Brick Czar. Yeah, the train is relatively quiet. Plus, the microphone's here. Here, go by. Some of the old trains I have, they are very noisy. <laughs> I wish I had one that I could run for you. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel Villaro, hello. What is your favorite Lego train? Mine is the E2 tank engine because Thomas was based off of it. That's a good one. Um, my favorite train is the TGV, probably. That's probably my favorite European train. I like um, the um, the look of the orange paint scheme, the orange and black. So that's why I like the Horizon Express by Lego. That's probably my favorite train. But I do like classic steam. Um, I'm trying to think what actually would be my favorite. I mean, I like some of the big ones, like the Challenger and the Big Boy. Um, but if, you if you're going to tie my tie, tie me up and say I could, why would you tie me up i don't know why i always say that if it, limit me to one that southern is it the southern pacific pacific that one's pretty good the 4449 new story seller can you sing thomas songs yes i can but the next question is will you no i won't <laughs> just messing with you brick tech says are there any other plans for a day in the life video? There's no plans. Probably should do one. I just don't have time in my life. <laughs> As I sit here doing nothing right now. Bennett Stevens says, I wish you could run Spencer because Spencer is one of my favorite trains from Thomas and Friends. I wish I had a Lego Spencer. Oh, wait a minute, I do. He's right there. Oh, hold on. Spencer! All right, so this is the ICE train. And this is the new passenger train. They're a little bit different in the style. I actually think this has a few more details than this one. I don't know. Here, we're going to make a messed up train. There's Spencer. Oh, he doesn't work. All right, let me get back to the... See, this would look better with another set of that. All right, it's running a lot slower pulling that extra weight. All right. Crew, crew Jones says, do you have any Lionel trains? Yes, I do. We have pretty much most of the Thomas and Friends 
Lion L trains, and I have a handful of other things, uh, but none of the classic Lion L stuff, the old, old stuff. David Wooden Railway, what are your other channels? Okay. My first channel is now called Brickzar Toys. My second channel is called Brickzar. And then I have a channel called Trains Are Fun. Well, that's this channel. And then there's Brickzar Derailed. And I have Joseph Olson and a couple other channels. Okay, Mayo says, do you have any HO scale British Railway intercity trains? No, but I did used to own the N scale version, which I regrettably sold in early 2000. I sold um, in the early 2000s. I sold my, my intercity trains that I had. I, I regret that. Hello, Augusto. Wait a minute. I did not read your reply, Matero. He says, did you read my reply, which I was telling that, Bi that Bionicle also came in minifigure size. The minifigure versions of the Bionicle characters that came in the play sets came out in 2005, 2006, 2007. I actually have some of those in my collection. And if you like Bionicle, do you know LJ Johnson? I'll be on his show next week, I think, if everything goes according to plan. Do you want new red coaches by Bachman? The, the O scale ones? Yeah. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I got to go do a haul for Brickzar. So, if you want to see one of my other channels, <laughs> I'm going to go do that unboxing there. And then, I don't know which way this goes. We got this to unbox. All right, so I'm going to go. I want to thank everybody who uh, joined for the live stream and asked questions. Yeah, LJ, a, a, a good ambassador for the Bionicle community. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to be on his show. Thank you, Lego Freak. Thank you, everybody who commented and asked questions. And if you want to continue this, I may just go ahead. I was going to record my video, but I may just go ahead and do it live for Brickzar. So I'll do that. So see you guys over there in a few minutes. If I can figure out how to end the stream. <laughs>